hello hello ladies and gentlemen today i am showing you a very nice extension for language learning um in my case this is for japanese because i'm watching stuff from zoro.to or youtube.com and such websites um to watch anime or other japanese content and to immerse myself into the language um but the problem that i'm facing that i've been facing since since i started learning it was that there is no Japanese subtitles anywhere. I mean, you, they're not served. And even if you can disable them on Zoro.to specifically, you cannot, you cannot load them from a file, which is a big minus in my opinion, because I want the Japanese subtitles. Of course, it's good for listening to not have them, but sometimes I just want to, you know, read along, because why not? So there is this extension that I came across just today and oh my god, it solves perfectly this problem. Um, it's kind of a repetitive task, task because for every episode you have to do, you have to load the, the subtitle. But better this than not having it. Okay, that's I'm I'm fulfilled with this. You could say. So what you do is uh, you firstly don't you need to download the extension, and it's not like any other extension that you download from the Chrome marketplace or chrome place or whatever you call it i don't know i don't know um but you'll actually have to download it from the github page um download this zip i mean go go here to the releases and download the zip then go to your extensions in my case it will direct me to brave extensions so okay um you enable the developer mode and you load from a file or from in this case a folder so um, and you load it from the unzipped directory that you unzipped um, after that you will have the extension here and I personally didn't touch any of those settings I like the way it looks at the beginning so I'm just gonna not go across this because I myself don't actually know what all of this is but usually just integrations with Anki I suppose and the way that uh, s the subtitles look and other shit other features I don't know so okay alongside this what you have to do is go to the AB ASB player um, github.io page uh, and this is where you're going to drag and drop your subtitles or media files so to sync it with a stream you for example load a file for the stream that, that you're trying to watch and then click on this camera here. It's quite a bad contrast to notice it. So like the first time I was trying to load it, I was like, where the hell is this camera symbol? Because I was actually blind, it's here. It's down here. So you select the stream that you have on your browser. In my case, I have multiple. And you just kind of brute force your way. Go, I guess, I don't know, this one. Zero, zero, no, I'm on 11, 30. This one, okay. So this is the correct one and you are done. That's that's literally all. That, that's it. That's it. That's you. All you have to do to have Japanese subtitles. And oh my God, I wish this extension was more popular because it there's many people in my opinion that want that feature to have Japanese subtitles on Zoro.com, Zoro.to. Sorry. And it's painful for the developers to implement it. So why not just promote it and have users? use it because Jesus my guy it's so useful for Japanese users and Japanese learners and alongside Yomi-chan you can also highlight all of this and append it to your Anki deck and as far as I know this extension what I can also do is uh, through some shortcuts uh, it can modify your Anki card to uh, have the image, the, the frame of the word at the same time inside of it, and also the uh, the part of the track where the person says that. Although I'm too lazy for to implement that myself right now, so maybe in the future. But just to tell you what this thing can do, you can definitely check it out here and see all of its features and usage. Um, but the point of this video is literally just to promote it because, in my opinion, it's. Uh, it's a very nice tool, so hope hopefully you like it, you know.